one of the things I love to ask people is, how many meetings are you in in a week? And often the answer is a lot, and there's a collective groan. And then I ask the next question, which also elicits a groan or a laugh, which is, how many of them are high impact? And you know what I mean by this. How many are productive? You're glad you went to that meeting. That was a net positive. Most people, when you ask them, all over the world, they say 10 to 15 percent. If you think about that for a second, that is tragic. You're spending you know, 85% of your time in meetings that are unproductive. Why would we do that? There are five elements to running high impact meetings. And I think we know these things, but the question is, do we do these things? Every meeting starts crisply. And the way to start a meeting crisply is to have what we call a purpose benefit check. The purpose of this meeting today is to tackle X and Y, what I think we'll gain from this 45 minutes together is A and B, how does that sound? The second thing is in a high impact meeting, what you want and what gives it impact is the ability to ask the right questions. So what we know is high performing salespeople ask impact questions, which go deeper and farther than other forms of questions. So they ask a really good question that makes the customer think, it elicits analysis or even emotion. There might be some silence there that allows the customer to process what's going on or the prospect to really gain insight into what's happening. And those are very powerful questions. We always suggest that salespeople equip themselves with one or two or even three questions for a 45 to 60 minute meeting. The third element of running a high impact meeting is the ability to pivot. So we've all been in meetings where someone is running with a subject and they've just got a lot of energy or passion about it and that's fine, but they're taking over the meeting or they're running down a blind alley. And we, as the leader of that meeting, need to pivot that meeting back to the subject at hand. Now, if you've done your job at the beginning with a crisp opening and you've got your purpose benefit check, the pivot becomes easy. Where you can just say, Susan, Bill, that's an, interesting, that's an interesting thought and a set of insights. One of the things we had talked about right at the beginning of the meeting that we were going to talk about X and Y, let's, let's move over to Y because I wanted to ask you some questions. And it's almost a physical pivot. You've essentially said, we're here, but we committed to go here as well. Let's go here now. The ability to pivot two or three times in your meeting based on the two or three things that have to get done is a critical discipline of running a high impact meeting. Now you're at the close of a meeting. It's 45 minutes are up. Close with style. What that looks like is you look at your notes and you say, you know what, Bill, I promised midway through this meeting that I would send you that podcast we just recorded in that white paper. I've got that on my notes. I, you will have that in your inbox by tomorrow morning via email. And you close with action. We all know this. But when we observe meetings in real life, it often doesn't happen. The meeting just sort of fizzles, and you walk out, and you're done. There is one more thing to running a high-impact meeting, and that is saying thank you. Most of us, all of us, say thank you at the end of the meeting. We get up, we shake hands, we say thank you for your time, and we leave, hopefully after a crisp close. But if you really want to impact that person, you write a handwritten thank you note. If that was a high-stakes meeting, and there's a reason to thank someone, which there often is, you pull out a handwritten note, you handwrite that, and you pop it in the mail. It sounds old school, it's not. In a digital world, those little touches make a huge, huge difference. In fact, I've gotten calls from CEOs thanking me for my thank you note. If you think about that for a second, it's incredible. So there are five elements to running high impact meetings, and that's what high performance looks like.